الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد When we speak about this topic following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillah generally you will find people they say and they think we follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but when you come to our practical life you will find many things that we are not following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so it is not enough to say wallahi I am following the sunnah I am sunni I am Ahlul Hadith, I am this and that. This is not enough. You have to prove that. To prove that you are following the sin. Of course, not to prove that for people. The, the point is not to show people that I'm following the sunnah. To prove that in your register, the angels to write if you are following the sunnah or not. At night, when you are alone, are you following the sunnah? You are praying water, making wudu, praying water. Are you making adhkar? Are you reading Quran? Are you giving charity? Praying on time, praying the sunnah before the salah, after the salah. Are you treating your spouse in a, a sunnah manner? I mean your husband or your wife according to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it is not only one point. It is not only to grow the beard, no doubt, growing the beard, this is wajib from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa But if I'm growing the beard, this is, this, this is not enough. It is not the only thing in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa When you are niqabi, it is not the only thing in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa You should take Islam as a whole. Ya ayu al-ladheena amanu adkhulu fi silmi kaffa, which means to accept all the rules of Islam. And another point, as I mentioned the khutbah, when you come to the issue of fatwa, well, I have the fatwa. Imam said like that. The sheikh said like this. But the hadith is clear. The hadith is clear. Alhamdulillah. The hadith says this and that. No, I am following this sheikh. Subhanallah. Imam Ahmed, rahimahullah ta'ala, Many people followed Imam Ahmed. They are doing taqlid of Imam Ahmed, rahimahullah ta'ala. He said to his students, la, or one who is his students, la tuqallidni, wa la tuqallid malikan, wa la tuqallid. He mentioned, don't imitate me. Don't imitate Imam Malik, who is greater than me. Don't imitate, and he mentioned some scholars. Then he said, wa khud min haythu akhadu. Take from the same source that they are taking, which means the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa From where Imam Ahmed is taking? Sunnah. Imam Malik, Imam Abu Hanifa, Sheikh al-Islam Taymiyyah, Sheikh al-Islam Hamd al Wahhab, Sheikh al-Alban, all of them take from the sunnah. You take from the sunnah. As simple as that. Again, we don't mean not to respect the scholars. We respect the scholars. We need the scholars. We take their, their, their fatwa, we take their explanations of the books, we listen to their lectures. Okay, but when the issue is the sunnah or this, the opinion of this sheikh, the sunnah. When Abdullah ibn Ghaffal radiallahu ta'ala and so one man throwing a stone in a way called khadf. What's mean khadf? You put small stone between two fingers and you, you play. You know sometimes you play okay, with the two fingers, the two index fingers. So he saw a man was sitting, playing with the stones, small stones. This is called al-khadf. The Prophet uh, Abdullah bin Ghaffar said, don't do that. You are a man sitting like this, playing with the stones. He said, don't do that. La takhdif. Why? Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade that. And he told us why. فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَقْتُلُ صَيْدًا وَلَا تَنْكَوْ عَدُوًا 
ولكن تفقأ العين وتكسر السن. This small stone cannot kill a bird. You cannot catch a bird by this small stone. And cannot fight your enemy. You can kill a Yahudi, a Jew by this stone. You cannot. But this stone can damage the eye and break the tooth. So he left this man and he stopped. Again, Allah Alam, after a few hours or after a few days, he saw the same man doing the same thing with the stone. Playing. He said, I told you, Rasulullah Sallallahu forbade that. And still you are doing that? Wallahi la I will not speak to you forever. Subhanallah. The issue is not because this is harmful. The issue is this is the sunnah. The Prophet Sallallahu And you are doing that? I will not speak to you. Are we brave to do that with our friends or with our relatives? Are we brave? Are we ready to compromise our desire for the sunnah? Maybe you have a friend, you have a group of friends, but they are smoking and you tell them smoking haram, harmful. Allah doesn't like that. And when you smoke, I will not come to your, your gathering. Can you, can you do that? No, Wallahi, they are my friends long time. And or you, are, you have friends. Maybe a woman has friends, but they are not hijabi. They put the makeup and they go to outside and they have the, the dinner, the lunch outside without hijab, with makeup. Are you brave enough, sisters, are you brave enough to tell them, I will not join you outside like that? Or not? We have a lot of problems. We are not ready to compromise our desire for the religion, for the sake of Allah. Subhanahu. Leave that. Allah said about the muhajirin, لِلْفُقَرَاءِ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهُمْ وَمْوَالِهِمْ They left their homes and their wealth. It is not only a friend. They left the home, the house, the horse, the, everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nowadays, when you tell the, the bell, okay, don't eat this kind of food. Don't visit this place. Don't stay with this friend. It is a big challenge. I cannot. How many times you, yeah, you people, please don't watch the movies, the haram movies. Don't watch them. And I think all of them haram, or most of them. Don't watch the movies. I cannot. Sister, stop the eyeliner, stop this. I cannot. Subhanallah. Change your bank from Riba Bank to Islamic Bank. I cannot, wallahi, this is a good bank. Many things easy, easier than the Islamic banks. I, I don't believe that. Now the Islamic banks, mashallah, they, they compete the Riba Bank. But you find still, you find some people know, the Islamic banks not good, they don't. They have many good things, mashallah. They are competing. What do you like? Everything you'll find Islamic, mashallah. So why is still your account in the Riba Bank? I cannot. Why you cannot? Subhanallah. You should fight your desire. You should fight your desire. Your desire pulling you toward Jahannam. The Prophet Sallallahu said, حُفَّةُ الْجَنَّةِ بِالْمَكَارِهِ وَحُفَّةُ النَّارِ بِالشَّهَوَاتِ Paradise surrounded by what? Cheesecake, biryani, no, makarah, paradise, surrounded by makarah, to wake up 5.30 and pray Fajr. You give zakah, you spend time to solve the problem between this husband and wife. This is something, you know, it is weekend. I should enjoy not to spend 
three hours to solve the problem between two friends. No, this is makara, but you should do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the hellfire, hufat bishahawat. Surrounded by what? Covered by what? By what? Shahawat. Your desire. The things that we like. Haram money. When a friend called me two days back, uh, Wednesday, Sheikh, I'm working a company and I do this, that, that. Then the company, they said, uh, this is a gift for you. This is a gift for you. Mashallah. Why? Because of friendship? What do you think? Because of friendship, he, he's giving him the, the gift? What do you think? You don't know? You don't know why this gift? Shabab, you don't know? Are you getting like this gift? This is rashwa, a bribe, haram. This is haram. I'm doing my job. So he comes and he gave me a, a gift. Already I'm getting my salary from the company. Why you are giving me? Go to the boss of the company. He will not go to the boss of the company. He will come to me. Why? Because next time, okay, he will do something wrong, but for his benefit. This is haram. And unfortunately, this is very common. How many times, okay, I hear from my, my friend's doctors, okay, he's in his clinic in the government, he's working in the government. Okay, so I come to him and I tell him, wallahi, uh, this is my card. I am working in a garage. I am working in a pharmacy. I am working in, in the food company. So you find the doctors with a lot of cards, صح? Or in any place, if you are a teacher in a school, so you find the parent of this teacher, of this student giving you his card. The Prophet ﷺ said, Hadaya al ummal ghulul. Gifts for the employees, this is ghulul, which means haram. This is very common. Subhanallah. Very common. They give you a gift. A'udhu billah. This is not a gift, this is rashwa. Haram. So back to the point. We need to practice the sunnah in our life. Practice the sunnah in our life. The priority for the sunnah. After the sunnah, the scholars, the, the, the parents, the traditions. Mushkila. How many times, wallahi, when you speak about the wedding parties, a lot of mistakes. Here in Kuwait and other countries. Where is the sunnah? The Prophet ﷺ said, لا تدخلوا على النساء. Don't enter the place of women. And what is happening in the wedding parties? Women with full makeup. Then the husband, the man enters, Sakhfirullah al Adim, sitting with his wife, drinking the juice, and uh, you know, they put the ring and Audu Billah. How? In a Muslim country or in a Muslim community, <coughs> people are doing that. People are doing that or not? In some Kuwaiti families, they do that. You do that in your country? If you don't have this, alhamdulillah, good. You don't have this practice? Not like that? Alhamdulillah. You have? This is a big problem. This is a big problem. And sometimes maybe you'll find the brother with beard and he's doing that. Why? Because of the pressure from the parents or specifically from his mother. And sometimes the, the girl, she doesn't like that, but a lot of pressure from the parents or specifically from the mother. Subhanallah. Let's help our children to apply the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And there are many examples, many examples. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. Jazakumullah khair. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.